What's up, Zed family? Welcome back to another vlog. And today we are going to be cooking. I am at my mom's house and we were gonna make iftari and I was like, let's make a video for you guys and show you some of my mom's yummy recipes. So today she is making bhindi ka khatta and I believe the other thing she's making is shami. So I told her something easy, but I don't know how easy this is, but it is gonna be super delicious. It's gonna be definitely worth it. So I hope you guys try it at home and tell me how it came out, especially during Ramzan. We all love good tasting ghar ka khana. So that's what I wanted to do for you guys. So let's get started. Also, if you notice that my this lip is bigger than this lip, it's not because <laughs> I did anything to my lips. It's because it's still swollen from the time where Zyra dropped her iPad on me. And so uh, it's still kind of healing. I hid the bruise. It's actually completely bruised here. But, you know, makeup, it's completely hidden. And then the lipstick hid the bruise as well, really well. But you can see underneath, it's still like all black. This is how it actually looks without makeup. It's pretty bad, but it's slowly getting better. Today is only the second day of the brew, so hopefully it gets better, but I don't mind it. With makeup, you can't really tell, so it's not that bad. So you guys, there's a change of plans. I am making dal and chawal, and then my mom just started the pendi, but It'll probably not be ready, so we're just gonna start with dal and chavel, and then bhindi will come later as the main course. <laughs> and uh, also there's fried uh, chicken, and then there is, uh, what's the other kima we made? Right, talava kima. Talava kima as well. So we have a couple of options, and Nadia is hungry. Are you hungry? Yeah. Yeah? Food is coming, you have to wait a little bit, okay? <laughs> So this is my dal going and then the rice is also on the stove and then my mom started the bindi and basically she put oil and how many onions mommy did you put? Two onions and then she has her meat as well. And here it's lamb. Lamb, right? How many pounds do you think this is? Goat. Goat? How many pounds? Two pounds? Three pounds? Four pounds? Yeah, maybe two pounds. It's about two and a half pounds. Okay, so now we're adding ginger garlic paste and that's one tablespoon full of ginger garlic paste and another oh. half tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. So a tablespoon and a half. And then my mom has zira and dhania mixed in that. So it's about one mm -hmm. teaspoon of zira and dhania powder that she makes like kind of grinds at home and mixes it together. Haldi is one. one. Yeah. One spoon, okay, so it's like a really tiny, so it's half a teaspoon of haldi. We're just mixing all of that together. Okay, then my mom is adding salt, but it'll be to taste according to how much salt you like. And we just keep frying that on the stove. She has it on high heat, so we're really trying to get the juices out of the meat. And then my mom is also cutting the tomatoes. She's gonna add three tomatoes to this. Okay, so it has still been on the stove and my mom reduced it to medium and we're adding the tomatoes now. All the tomatoes are going in. Okay, and now she's adding a cup of water into that mixture, and then we're just gonna mix that, and then, are you gonna close it, Mommy? Yeah. Okay, perfect. That's good. Okay, guys, my mom took tamarind paste, and she put it in water, and she's just gonna let it soak for a little bit to take out the kata. Okay, so we've opened the pot, and now my mom is adding some red chili powder, and we're doing about a teaspoon and a half. Two teaspoons? Okay, two teaspoons. If you have a good one, you can use it. So, do not more, like, don't make it. Okay, so we have 27 babies here, and my mom washed them and cut them, and she slit just... them. You slit them? Yeah. Oh, I, I didn't even that. see the slit. Okay, so there is a little slit right here in the middle, and she's just added oil to the pan and she's gonna fry them 
Meanwhile, the salad is still getting punod. <laughs> And uh, we're just gonna keep letting it get puno. My mom has the stove on medium to high heat. Okay, so we are adding the okra on the frying pan. And do we wait till it's like brown? A little bit? Okay. So the salad has kind of become like a nice thick kind of paste and my mom slowed down the stove so we have the okra on medium heat and we're just gonna let it get brown slowly and my mom has the tamarind juice now and she's just going to put that through are you gonna squeeze out the juice mm -hmm. okay this looks good so she's just swifting and making sure none of the you know thick pieces from the tamarind get in the salad and this is gonna really add that kata part to the bhindi salad so for the tamarind part you can add uh, how much of a kata you usually prefer uh, you can go extra kata you can go less depending on how you like your salad and we're just gonna mix that kata in Okay, my mom boiled water on the side and she's just adding that to a glass and she's going to add the water into the salad. And that's like a cup of water, hot boiled water. So my mom said that she's going to add one more glass of that hot boiled water into it because you want to get that right consistency. So is that water enough? I'll have to check Okay, so it's two and a half cups of water that went in there and it's not like a regular cup, it's, it's, it's this you guys, <laughs> so it's like a glass basically, so two and a half glasses of water. So now we've made the salad on high and we're adding garam masala, about one teaspoon of garam masala and about one teaspoon of zira powder. Okay, so we're gonna mix it and my mom put the stove back on high heat and she's gonna let that cook again. So this is how the okra is looking right now. It's slowly starting to open up. So the okra is done. Now we're turning off the stove and taking it out. And now she's putting it into the salad. And I was just asking my mom who taught her how to make this. And she said Nane, which is my mom's mom. So Nane, if you're watching this video, this is delicious, yummy. And I can't wait till everyone tries it and sees how good your recipe is. Okay, doll is ready. And my mom did a beautiful tarka mix for me gonna let that flavor of the tarka get into the dal. Allah maini wa kusumto wa alika amanto wa alika tuwakalto wa ala rizki akhtarto bismillah. Jake from my favorite part. It tastes delicious. You know what else is good? Mm. Samosa. <laughs> You know what's uh, not good to eat right when you open your salad, Rosa? Samosa. Yeah, it's because it's heavy, right? Mm -hmm. It's not a good thing to eat. Right after you do such a good cleanse to your body, you throw oil and fat and everything bad. You're killing my vibe right now. Now turn this off. <laughs> <laughs> I've already started tasting. Taste test dishes. time. Osama's already started taste testing, but Here we go. it's really, really good. You've always had my doll, so he's already the finished a plate and he's having doll. So we actually had food ready for iftari, and <laughs> we're making the the bhindika salad for after. So just did, in case you guys are wondering, it's still cooking. Did your mom make this, or you made it? I made it, but it might be a little salty, so just be careful. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know. I it, it, the taste was a little off with the new salt that I was trying. Is it salty? Is it kutta? Is it is it good? It's fine to me. It's good. It's a little hot. I can't taste anything. <laughs> burning a little bit. Let it cool down a little. It's not really kutta yet. Really? Unless, oh, yes, that's unless good. my taste buds are 
Oh, I didn't know that. So apparently, it's, it's not bad though. Down. No, it's coming it's good? now. Right? Yeah. Now it'll hit you. Like it's um, it's there, right? Cool. You should try it. Yeah. Where does it go? <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you fast? No, I've been mm. sick. Tomorrow. So good. <laughs> hmm? Wow, it's really good. I like it. it I like the garlic taste. You can actually taste. So my mom put garlic in the tarka. She took like two, three garlics and she cut it and she put it in the tarka and actually gave it like a nice garlic flavor. I really Wait, like that. This one? I'm gonna do that. Yeah, because when you fry the oil in the tarka, I usually put mustard seeds, cumin, and the chili. Garlic but it. I don't put garlic. I don't taste garlic. Well, Sama, you know how many garlics I put in the actual dal? There were like seven of them. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Wow. I'm not good at this. Uh, you're not good at uh, picking out flavors. You're just good at eating mm. it as a whole. Like, you just enjoy the flavor. That's all that matters. Yeah. Okay, so now we have dhania, <laughs> dhania kata, and kotmir, kotmir and hari mirchi. Two hari mirchi. Two hari mirchi. Okay, perfect. And we're just adding that. Mom just let the okra cook into the salad for a little bit before adding this. So this no. is how the salad looks right now, looking so yummy and delicious. So Look at this, this fresh course, juice my mom just made for these two. Yeah. Yummy, yummy. Wow, Zaira, do you really like it? <laughs> She's like, I didn't even try it yet. How is it, Zaira? Is it yummy? Yeah. Yeah, you it's like it? Spicy. The spicy? Yeah. The juice is spicy. Can I have some? No, mine. Please? No. A little no. bit? Oh, thank you. Um, oh, no, yolk. Mm. Yolk. I love it. Yeah. So yummy. Nice. Is it? This looks amazing. And Osama, you got some really gorgeous looking juice. I know, this is actually one of the better looking ones, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've seen in my life. They huh? have the kids' <laughs> version. Zayna, Nadi's, Zyra's like, I want juice. I want what daddy's drinking. It's actually really good. Yeah? You need to take the recipe. <laughs> Literally. You need to take a recipe. Yeah. Literally. 